Wait for me, wait for me. I guess that's more than I should ask, but won't you wait for me, for me, please, wait for me, for me, oh girl. I know the light is fading fast. You could go. I just really had that song stuck in my head all of a sudden, so I was singing it. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Dragon Ball Action. Today I'm going to give you guys another Q&A, of course, every Wednesday. I usually record these on a Tuesday, sometimes Wednesday morning, but I really try to do them on Tuesdays. So you can ask your questions down below. Ask God FM link down below. Ask it over there. But, let's get right into this shit. Who do you like best RN... Your mom or dad? Are they asking which one I like better? I don't really have a preference. You know, what the hell's RN mean? Is this like a generation that I just completely skipped? I don't know. Do you think the Future Trunks arc in, of Dragon Ball Super could be made into a movie? If so, why? If the Dragon Ball Super was not announced. Um... I don't think it's wise that it to have been made to a movie. I think it works much better as a whole saga. <sighs> because you have to think. I mean, the Trunk special was, what, 45 minutes? And, you know, they packed a decent amount into there. But I feel like if they had to put this whole arc, depending on how long it'd be, it'd have to be at least a two-hour long movie. And that's just not really what... <laughs> Dragon Ball does not go that long, that's for sure. And a lot of anime in general just doesn't go that long. So I don't think it really would work as a movie. But would I see if it was a movie? Sure. But I don't think it would work. It would definitely work better as an anime arc. That's for sure. Vote Nemo. Do I have to? What's my other option? I do have still see Finding Dory. I remember when Toy Story 3 came out. I'm like, I don't give a shit if I'm like, uh, what was it, like 15 or something. I don't give a shit. I'm going in there and seeing it because I love Toy Story. It's a good movie. It's a good series. How does one grow a beard as majestic as yours? Uh, don't shave. But right now I have like a 5 o'clock shadow. I just got like stubble. Because I trimmed it. And by trim I mean I shaved most of it. I've been keeping it under wraps. I've been liking the rugged look, you know? But it's all about what the ladies like. And that's, that's what really matters. Would you watch a fourth Austin Powers movie if it ever came out? Of course, and I thought they were going to make one, but I guess maybe I heard wrong, but I would really like to see one, for sure. I have a theory about Black. When he goes to the past for the Z Fighters, go to the past, or the Z Fighters go to the past. Well, I don't, I don't okay, I'm not going to skip past that part. He'll fuse with real-time Goku and become Black Goku. I mean, that doesn't really make... I don't really understand how that makes any sense, though. Because he's already he's already looks like Goku, so why would he... Why would he fuse with him in the first place? I'm very confused by this question. Or, I guess, statement, or your theory, really. Not really sure about it. How strong would a Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan 4, with Kaioken times 20 be? Uh, this is Goku, also. Um, stronger than anyone else in Dragon Ball. Definitely stronger than Xeno, that's for sure. Um... I don't know who you want me to compare it to, bro, because he beat everyone in Dragon Ball. It's not even a contest. So I'm very... I'm, I don't really have a scale, like... I don't explore too many other universes and other series that much that are, like, you know... Uh, with powerful characters. I don't really do that. I just don't have time. Bottom line. I love Dragon Ball, and I'm fine just doing Dragon Ball. I don't really need to do other stuff. Vegeta's dick versus Nappa's mouth. Well, Nappa has that mouth cannon, so that's going to be some trouble, I would say. Do you know of Russell Brand and Matt Morgan? I know Russell Brand, but not the other guy. Have you ever, ever felt like this? Strange things are happening. Are you going around the twist? That's either like a poem or some song lyrics right there, bro. I don't know. What, what, in the butt? I'm not going to sing the rest because, um, well, number one, I don't have the lights turned off. 
Uh, number two, I like women. Um, and there's a num num numerous other things I could say right now. Final form, Frost versus Golden Frieza. Golden Frieza, but Frost is a lot stronger than people give him credit for, but uh, Golden Frieza would be stronger than Final Form Frost, I would say. For sure. Base form, Goku from the Majin Buu Saga versus SSJ Gohan from the Cell Games. Oh, hands down, Gohan. Base form, Goku from the Buu Saga still wouldn't have been as strong as his Super Saiyan on Namek, and I want to do a video on this later, but... The thing is that people have to understand, you know, I can go in and talk about all the boost Goku, you know, hypothetical, hypothetical gains Goku got from training during the Android Saga. But one thing that's really big that people need to understand is that Goku went from his power from when he died against Cell, you know, sacrificing himself in that seven years of training, his base form only got twice as strong. And the reason I say this is, I've, so, I've talked about it before, so I apologize if I'm regurgitating info to you. Goku against Cell was about, Goku was around 50% of his strength, or Cell was around twice as strong as Goku, okay? When he powered up against Korin, he powered up about 50%, and Korin still says that, you know, you're not really going to have a chance against this Cell guy. That already puts him a, very, a, a decent amount against Goku's full power. Not only that, we know Cell was holding back against Goku, and Goku said he was giving his all. Sure, you'd be like, oh, Goku was bullshitting to give Gohan some, you know, confidence. I guess if you want to say that, we also see Cell power up a few times aside from his, when he buffs up. So, it's pretty much estimated that he's like 60 or 50% stronger than Goku. Take that, and during the fight between Goku and Majin Vegeta, Goku has to go Super Saiyan 2 to, uh, for Vegeta to say, well, at least you're stronger than your son was against Cell. So you just should see that in a, a matter of seven years, Goku only got twice as strong. Now, a lot of that was training the other two forms that he didn't have unlocked, Super Saiyan 2 and 3. But, Goku, uh, Saiyan base forms before Resurrection F are not as strong as a lot of people might think they are. And whether or not the whole thing about Beerus saying that you wouldn't be able to beat Freeze in your base is true... It's around that realm, actually. It's it's kind of interesting because Goku was a 3 million in his base form on Namek. Goku didn't get 50 times stronger in his base. When you really think about it like that, if you look at all the boosts Goku's gotten, it's kind of clear he didn't really get 50 times his strength, you know? So that's just my opinion on it. And I'm not even going to talk about the bullshit that's in Dragon Ball Super. Where I think he can go, he goes Super Saiyan 2, and uh, Beer says, You might be able to beat Frieza in that form. You know, that was really dumb. So, we're not gonna talk about that. But that's just so, yeah. Uh, Gohan would beat Goku if you want my opinion on that. When you do your reviews on raw episodes of Dragon Ball Super, you are missing and misunderstanding a lot of things. Maybe you ought you could do two reviews, one. Of the raw version talking only about character and body language and facial expressions and context of scenes. And one of the sub version to talk about the plot. I mean, Herms translates pretty much all the important details. All the little bullshit is something I would leave out of a regular review anyways. And I only talk about and go in depth to stuff that really matters to the review. And I don't really want to separate the reviews. I want to do them on Saturdays. They don't get that many views. I understand that, but Saturday night, get it out of the way, and I don't want to have to waste more video slots during my week, you know, on super reviews. I want to have something unique on the channel every week. I, I know I've been doing a ton of super stuff, and super just really does swamp my schedule with, like, a lot of things that get announced and stuff, and I have to cover that for some people. I have projects working on that I really want to be unique to my channel. Um... There's a video series that I'm working on looking at the designs of characters from Dragon Ball all the way to like Dragon Ball Super and GT. Stuff like that. Hopefully no one takes the idea that I said it. I'll copyright it. No. Uh, trademark it. Registered. Put the C there. I'll have a, a TM, the registered logo, and a copyright all in the same, lo all in the same row. No, but seriously, uh, I got some things working on. Uh, Dragon Ball Superstition, I really want to come back. It's just... 
I've been having a lot of personal, like I've had some, you know, medical problems with the family. Uh, a lot of things have been going on in my life lately that's been very difficult to work on some of these bigger videos. And, you know, I, I don't, I'm not going to be that kind of guy be like, well, you know, I'm going through some, not that this is like, you know, not that I, I think it's wrong when people do this. I don't think, I'm not saying that, but it's just my mentality. You know, oh, you know, I'm going through some stuff. You know, if I have to absolutely take a break, I will. Because I work every single day on this shit. But at the end of the day, I look at this because this is my source of income. I left my job to do this and I love doing YouTube. This is my job and I'm going to get videos up no matter what for you guys. I'm going to try my best. If I miss a day, probably something's wrong. Or I really just literally couldn't do anything. Like yesterday, I wanted to do a double upload. I just literally could not get that second video up in time or it was going to be way too early or way too late. A lot of different aspects to go and look at that, but it's just, you know, there's just videos that I just can't manage to do within that week and, you know, doing it every day, you got to set aside several hours to work on these big videos. When I work on a big video, I like to do it in one big chunk and just grind it out. So I don't know. That was some real rambling right there. Would you watch a spinoff show of Fat Boo and Mr. Satan? I think that would be an amazing spinoff series. Would it ever happen? Probably not. But I would certainly watch it. Would you guys watch that too? Because that would be an amazing, amazing spinoff series. And let me know your thoughts on that because, wow. Toei Animation, get on that because that, sure, you could dedicate a few filler episodes. I'm the kind of guy that loves Mr. Satan. I know not everyone does. They think he's annoying. I think Mr. Satan's a is honestly one of the funniest characters right next to Master Roshi. Fat Boo and him have a really good set of chemistry going on, and I think that a show dedicated between them would be absolutely incredible. But what would be the name to that show, guys? Comment that down below. Because that could be... You guys are going to come up with some really crazy names, aren't you? Let me know those down below. That's awesome. That's a very good idea, my friend. Metacooler versus 18. If it's one Metacooler, 18 would win. But if you're talking about the big Getty star, also, I mean, Metacooler would probably take that. Would would definitely take that. If 18 can't figure out how to get that, you know, the clones to stop spreading. My chair just made the huge, the loudest squeak. I got to get a new chair here. If Goku wasn't turned into a kid in GT, do you think he could have beaten baby Vegeta first form because of his power level shrank a lot when he did? It, it's never really said that his power level shrinks. It's said that he can't really handle Super Saiyan 3. Now, I could be wrong on that, but I'm going to go back and look at the Japanese one, I think, uh, at some point this week, not to remind me, and kind of figure that out. Maybe I'll do a video on it if I uh, can. But... Goku probably would still lose, although he'd have better control of instant transmission, and I mean, if he used Super Saiyan 3, maybe, I think that's possible. I could see it happening. I have to really look at that fight again. It's been a little while since I've seen that part of the fight. Um, I don't focus on GT too much, some aspect of GT, but I'll have to go back and look at that fight fight just to refresh my memory I don't want to say too much but I think that you could be onto something there but his power level didn't really shrink it was mostly that he couldn't control those more taxing uh, abilities like into transmission apparently he couldn't really you know lock onto signals very well with it um, Super Saiyan 3 he couldn't use really so I could see that but one of the forms was spinning around Goku guy's tail I think that was Babe Vegeta 2 I'm gonna have to look back at that these are off the top of my head, guys, so if I, you know, I'm ADHD and forgetful, so a whole number of things just fuck me over when it comes to memory. Who is the strongest Dragon Ball Z villain Asura can be? Asura's from Asura's Wrath. Very good video game. If you haven't played it, it's on PS3 and Xbox 360. Go play it. You'll do yourself a huge favor. But who could he be? Well, before uh, Super came out, I pretty much assumed he could pretty much be anyone in Dragon Ball. Um, aside from maybe Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta or something. Now, when we have Super and all the new feats, I think, 
I could put Asura below Beerus. Just because of all the new shit we know. But Asura is very, 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 very fucking powerful. Very powerful. But I mean, if Beerus can destroy one or more universes, you know. I mean. Yeah, Asura was like getting plants thrown at him and destroying him. But like. I don't want to spoil too much of the game for people that haven't seen it, but. I am aware of some of the feats in the games. I don't really want to spoil the game because the game actually has a very good story. So, if you haven't played it, it came out in like 2012, I believe. It's not that expensive. Seriously, do yourself a favor and buy it. It's probably like 5 or 10 bucks. It's a very good game. It really is. Um, I actually did a video on Asura versus Goku. And I don't think it was a... I said wrong information. It was just a very old and very badly put together video. It's really old. Duracell or Green Lantern Ring, what one would last longer? Probably Duracell battery. They last forever. That's a burp. They last forever. It's weird. It tastes of pineapple. They got these really awesome, I don't know if you guys have them wherever you live or whoever's watching this. They got these pineapple flavored popsicles, but they have like little pineapple chunks in certain areas of the popsicle as well. It's really goddamn good. Pick them up if you haven't. They also got other fruits too. Kid, kid, what is this? King Boo, King Boo versus Kid Boo. I mean, I, I Kid Boo. I, I, yeah, Kid Boo. Kid Goku versus Gooba. 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 Does he mean? Does he mean a a Goomba? Like from Mario? Um, Gooba. I did not know who Gooba is, but if you're talking about a Goomba, then I think <laughs> Goku would melt a Goomba pretty, pretty goddamn easily, I would say. JLA versus Semi Perfect Cell. JLA I don't know what the ju JLA is Justice League Justice League something I don't know uh, <laughs> I'm skipping this one I'm sorry I have I'm literally I have no idea what if Bojack could make Cell Jr. type versions of himself? That's kind of a pretty big what if, but I guess Gohan still would have melted them if he went Super Saiyan 2. There would have been no problem. Do you listen to any podcast? If so, do you listen to the podcast of the Immortals? No, but I do listen to the Rooster Teeth podcast and, of course, the Funhouse podcast. I love the guys that were at Inside Gaming and Funhouse. They're... Those are the only, like, quote-unquote let's play, I guess you could say, you know, gameplays that I'll watch. Because they're actually well-edited. They're, they're really, really funny people. They <laughs> Every time I laugh a shitload in those videos. If you guys haven't watched Funhouse, do yourself a favor and go watch them. But I do watch the, the, both their podcasts. Very entertaining stuff. Uh, I've been watching Rooster Teeth since, like, 2005, so it's pretty crazy. Boo glow, baby, I have time to eat. I don't know what the fuck that even means. Super perfect god cell, perfect cell with five cell juniors around him, giving him god power versus Super Saiyan Goku after the three day time chamber training in Super. Um, If we're going to go by base powers, Goku in Battle of Gods had a way lower base power than Super perfect cell. If it's the same boost, I mean, I guess cell would win. If you really want, I mean, that's a really, really, um, <laughs> you're asking a really hypothetical question right there, man. Hey, hey, happy Sunday. Well, it's Tuesday now, so I don't know who's late for this, me or you. People say Satan is weak, but he's actually the strongest human except for Tien, Krillin, Roshi, and Yamcha. But do you think that he could beat Kid Goku from the Pilaf Saga in season one of Dragon, the original Dragon Ball? No, he couldn't even beat uh, Goku from the first 
episode. And the reason I say this, and maybe some people think I'm milking it, but Mr. Satan was going to die from a gunshot. And we know Goku was, like, tanking them. And Goku lifted, like, rocks, you know, cars. Satan's never done anything like that. In Philly, he punched through a bus, which was pretty cool. And I'm sure there's probably a few humans on the Earth besides him that are stronger than Mr. Satan. But he is definitely one of the strongest men alive for sure. That's pretty clear. But he can't beat Goku from the beginning of Dragon Ball even. If Resurrection... Uh, we'll probably leave it off. Uh, well, I guess I can answer this one too. Do you like Super Saiyan 1 through 3? I mean, yeah. I, I would say so. In Resurrection of F, why didn't Goku use Kao Ken technique? And same with Battle of Gods against Beerus. The writing team didn't use it, whether because they thought it would make things too complex or they forgot. That's the simple answer. There's no in-universe reason to why he would not use it. Especially because we saw him use 10 times Kyle Kim with Super Saiyan Blue. There's no reason. But that's been it for this Q&A, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Share your thoughts on that whole Mr. Satan and Majin Buu crossover series. That would be something amazing to happen. I'd love to see that. If you don't want to see it, go go put that in the comments but come up with a title for that show thanks for watching and i'll catch you later